Okay, Hans Bruner here, mortgage broker, coming to you from the uh, studios in downtown Forestville, California. Big news, I'm growing a beard. You may not like it. I, I may not like it in a couple days. That's not the big news. Here, I'm here to answer the question, is now a good time to buy a home? And the underlying question there is what people are really asking is, have we hit bottom? Is it the lowest that I can possibly get on that, on that house? Uh, is, are the rates the lowest that we can possibly get on that house? The reality is, who knows? I don't know. Your realtor doesn't know. Or the economist doesn't know. Your brother doesn't know. So, who knows? Um, rates are really good. Conforming rates are in you know 5.5 to 5.75 percent range. Jumbo loans are in the 6.375 percent range for 30-year fixed. Rates are great. Um, so, rates are great. Real estate values have gone down. Great time to buy a house. Um, in 1992-93, we were asked this question all the time because we'd had a huge run-up um, in values and um, and then people were wondering if we'd hit bottom. If I'd said, yeah, it's a great time to buy, unequivocally yes, and you bought a house in 92, then you had to sell it today, you'd be thanking me. If you had to sell it two years ago, you'd be thanking me even more. So real estate is a great investment in California, um, in the areas where I work, California, Oregon, and Hawaii, and historically they've been great. So um, here's here's a here, here's the deal. Mainstream media is saying to you, it's a horrible time. Um, you know, the sky is falling. Everything's terrible. Don't sell your house. Well, there are people that need to sell their house. They just had triplets. They need to move. Uh, they had a death in the family. They need to move. They're getting divorced. They need to move. They're getting relocated. They need to move. There are people that need to sell their homes. There are homes for sale on the market. It's getting less and less where it's flooded on the market. Um, and the people who weren't realistic and weren't priced well are gone. The people who are realistic and priced well are here. So houses are priced great. Um, rates are great. That seems like it makes sense to be a great time to buy. If you want to make a ton of money in the next year or two, yeah, maybe not so much. So you kind of have to ask yourself the questions um, for the answers, to get the answers. Uh, back in July 2003, I bought my house that I'm living in now. I bought it for $330,000, and I thought that it was going to go down in value by 10, about 10% 10 and be worth about $300,000 within six months. I was wrong. But when I told my wife that, she said, oh, my God, we shouldn't buy it. I said, yeah, we should buy it because it's a house that we want in a neighborhood that we want. It's the floor plan we want. We like the house. It's great. Everything about it. We want that house. So if let's say we knew for sure that two years later was the perfect time to buy, which it wasn't, um, but let's say we knew that, then we would have that house would have to be on the market in that neighborhood for a better price or whatever. I mean, who knows? You can't know. And I bought that house because I, I knew it was going up in value. I didn't guess it was going up in value. I knew it was going up in value. Um, real estate values have historically gone up, I knew, about 6% annually across the United States. And I did some research and found out that number is actually 6.6%. I did even more research and found out that number is 9.2% in California. Um, from the first quarter of 1976 through the third quarter of 2007, the number in California is 9.2% annual appreciation. Um, now, it is not um, it is not a perfect number. You know, you can't go, hey, it's going to go up 6.6% next year, 9.2%. It's not a perfect number. It is like a yo-yo on an up escalator. Got that? Yo-yo on an up escalator. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so that's the way it works. And um, so bottom line is to the question is, uh, you know, is now a good time to buy a house? Don't ask your realtor. Don't ask your mortgage broker. Don't ask your brother. Don't ask your neighbor. For heaven's sakes, don't ask an economist. Ask yourself. Ask You know the questions. You need to look inside and ask yourself and come up with the answers. And if you feel somebody's going to benefit from my services um, in California, Oregon, and Hawaii, have them contact me, um, forward them this video. Have a swell 